Greetings fellow Dragon Ball fans and collectors, the DBZ Collector here, and I am back with more figure reviews, finally. Sorry I haven't uploaded it in a while, I just haven't been in the mood, I've been in kind of a slump. I just wanted to come home from work and just do nothing but sit in the chair and look at my computer and my TV. So, sorry for that, I have a bunch of figures that I'm going to review though, and soon to have more on the way, so stay tuned for those. Anyways, today we're looking at the Dragon Ball Super, the Super Warrior Special of Mastered Ultra Instinct Goku from Banpresto. Before we get to the figure, let's look at the box first and something I always like to do. Here's the front. Here's one side. Here's the back. Here's the other side. Here's the bottom. The top. And the Toei Animation Sticker, which is this figure sticker of authenticity. Let's just figures run out of bootleg, and let's take a look at the figure. And here he is, very nice figure. He stands at seven and a quarter inches, nice size. And he comes in two pieces, his upper body, and his legs. And they go on like so. And he comes with this little uh, thing that goes around his ankle for support to help him stand. Because he can't stand without it. Whoever sculpted this figure did a pretty darn good job on it. The sculpt is fantastic. And I like the paint application. And the capture his line is pretty darn good. And of course he has silver hair. Would be cool if it was a metallic silver. But silver and awesome looking nonetheless. Got some shading all throughout on his pants, his boots, in between his muscles. One complaint is I don't like how the arms are not connected, don't blend in well with each other. And the, uh, I don't like that the hair is not connected, but that's always usually the case. But that's, other than that, I really like this figure. I had to go to Goku's likeness very well, I like the paint application. Uh, that's it for this video, this review. I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. But I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have this figure, let me know in the comment section below your thoughts and opinions on it. And if you would like this figure, then check the description box below. And I'll provide links to places that sell this figure online. I'll try to find them for a decent price. Anyways, thank you for watching and have a nice day.